What's up, socials? Happy Sexy Wednesday! <clears throat> I have my speaking voice today, and that's because I just got back from a speaking engagement with the Public Relations Society of America Central Ohio chapter, and it was amazeballs. Actually, I was amazeballs. I'm just kidding. I was a million times better than amazeballs. The best part of speaking at an event is not preparing to speak, because that can be kind of like nerve-wracking sometimes. No, the best part is hanging out with people afterward to hear what they think of you. Also could be the worst part. I guess it just depends on who you are. Well, these people were mighty kind and said I did a good job, but most importantly, they asked the really important questions, the ones that people are afraid to ask out loud. And one that I particularly enjoyed was from my new friend, Megan, who is a student and was like, listen, lady, I need to know how to get my name out there, but I ain't got no funds and I'm in school and I don't understand how I'm supposed to do this. And that's a really good question because you know what? Social media is not the end all be all of a conversation. It is maybe the beginning, maybe a continuation, but you've got to do a little bit more. When I had an amazing full-time job with awesome job security, great benefits, and decent pay for my age, and discovered marketing, it was kind of scary for me to be like, oh my god, am I really going to make a change? So I used every opportunity that I had to beef up my portfolio and let people know I knew what I was talking about, I just needed to implement to educate myself a little bit further. I honestly wish this would have happened as a student because I think you have so much more time to be broke when you're in school and people are just expecting you to go learn things. The best possible thing I could have been doing was doing work for free to build up my portfolio. But instead, I was doing that on the side of a full-time job in a completely different industry. It's bad enough not having money when you're a student and working as hard as you do and having to take tests. I hate tests. I think it's horrible to have to take any tests. You have way more energy at that time of your life to be going really hard and learning as much as you can and implementing and building your portfolio than you ever will again in your life. The best time to do it is when you're already in that moment where you're learning so much anyway. The sooner you start doing work for free when you have no credibility and nothing to prove that you know what you're doing, the sooner you then have stuff to prove your credibility and no longer work for free. Sometimes you have to go above and beyond to work in the industry that you love and that is sexy. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Thanks to all of you who are watching who were at the PRSA event. I appreciate it so much. Your feedback and your attendance and your clapping and your pictures and your live tweeting. It was glorious. Thank you. Make sure you sign up for my newsletter, Amy's Elite, so you never miss a beat. Oh my god. I just came up with that. I am now going to say that in every video. I'm not even joking. It's in the annotation below. Please like d ignore me right now. I'm very excited about my rhyming skills. Definitely click that annotation, sign up for the list. You will love it. We hang out, we have a good time. Tweet with me, Ashmatastic and at Savvy Sexy Social. I'll see you tomorrow for Social Thursday.